Kentucky Legislative Prayer Caucus, a call to prayer for Kentucky. Throughout the history of the United States, its citizens have drawn strength, hope, and guidance by prayer and humble petition before a loving and merciful Creator, imploring Him to watch over the nation, its leaders, and her people. The faith-based principles that established America, including the First Amendment to the Constitution, guarantee the freedom of religion and its expression, the moral and solemn responsibility of those elected to public office, draws many servants who believe in the power of prayer to seek humility in governance, wisdom in decision-making, courage in times of testing, and providence for God's favor and blessing. On May 24, 1774, when facing enormous challenges, caucus members from the Virginia House of Burgesses passed a resolution setting apart a day of fasting, humiliation, and prayer. In early 2005, a small group from the U.S. House representatives began meeting in room 219 of the United States Capitol to pray for our nation. The gravity of this meeting was derived from the humble and sincere belief that God could heal and restore America. Soon thereafter, these members formed the Congressional Prayer Caucus to vigilantly watch over and protect the right of individuals to pray. We stand at the threshold of another significant crossroads, either to acknowledge and embrace the vibrant character of our spiritual heritage or to plunge headlong into the postmodern void, a value neutral and immoral vacuum that endeavors to deconstruct much of what we hold sacred. Centuries ago, the Bible records in 2 Chronicles 7, verse 14, that God told King Solomon, If my people, who are called by my name, will humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then I will hear from heaven, will forgive their sin, and will heal their land with clear vision and the recent reaffirmation of in God we trust as our national motto, it becomes more evident how important prayer is to this country and to the Kentuckians. The preamble of the state constitution humbly asserts, We the people of the Commonwealth of Kentucky, grateful to Almighty God for the civil, political, and religious liberties we enjoy, and invoking the continuance of these blessings, do ordain and establish this Constitution. The patriotism of the Commonwealth's first governor, Isaac Shelby, helped inspire the state motto, United we stand, divided we fall. Furthermore, the official Latin Commonwealth motto adopted in 2002 affirms, Dio gratiam habemus, let us be grateful to God. We, the undersigned, believe in prayer and the Judeo-Christian principles that remind us that our rights come from Almighty God. Uniting this proclamation, accordingly this day, we respectfully and humbly issue a call to prayer for the Commonwealth of Kentucky and invite Kentuckians everywhere to pray that God will continue to bless this country our noble state and the freedom for which they stand. Witness the following signatures of elected officials of the state of Kentucky as of the 10th day of January in the year of our Lord 2012.